home match for both Oswego and Wabonzi Valley at Parkside Lanes, and both teams coming in off wins the day before. Player profile of the month, Serenity Quintero getting in the zone. Katie Orasek helping herself out in game one, picking up the 1-2-4 spare on her way to a 5-0-4 series. Oswego's Alyssa Lang, impressive in the first game, shooting a match best 218 in route to an equally impressive 581 series. Panthers Taylor Keys also with a strong showing. Her 212 helps OHS to the game one win. On to the second game, Dub V's Serenity Quintero striking up the band with her fourth in a row in the eighth frame. Her 207, the tops in game two. A heaping mess left by Oswego's Cynthia Memming, but the sophomore cleaning up after herself with this beautiful spare. She ends her night with a 431. Wabonzi's Angelica Hernandez also coming up big with the 610 spare. She completes her match with a 558 series. Warriors take game two. Only 49 pins separate the two teams heading into game three. Serenity Quintero knowing she got away with one here in the eighth but she'll take it anyway. Her 583, the best series on the night. Oswego's Alicia Lutwain with a strike, helping her to a 450 series. Despite Dub V winning the third game, it's the Panthers picking up the win. I think we did good. We kept our spirits up and we, I think we won all the points, so our two games, so that's good. I think we gave it um, a pretty good fight. I mean, we didn't do as well as we usually do, but that just gives us all more reason to come back stronger for next week. And I'm so proud of my team no matter what.